Hey there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's local search engine optimization video, what I'd like to share with you is a Google business profile hack that you can possibly start implementing today. Now, what you see here is some very unique, very cool images. As you can see, I just went ahead and made these just for you. And I just wanna share these with you. I will swap them out because I'm unsure about them inside of the profile, but I wanted to share with you a really unique hack. So what these are, are animated files. Now, once you're able to have your businesses, I'll go ahead and show you on my very own. If you're able to have your businesses products shown down here inside of the bottom, as you can see, this is certainly an attention grabber. So I have my services down here at the bottom. One of them is a video marketing campaign. Another service that I went ahead and added this into was the press release campaign. Now these will certainly grab some attention and I wanna walk you through how you can add these into your account. Now, this is a hack, this is a trick. I just wanted to point this out because I thought it was very fun. However, I will be removing these out of my account after this video. <clears throat> I am unsure about the specificity of this within the guidelines. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and walk through exactly how you can start doing this inside of your own accounts if you want. So let's go ahead and start walking through that process now. Now, the very first thing that you will need in order to go ahead and upload these inside of your Google My Business profile is you will need a video. Now, I will point out that you will need a 400 by 300 video. Now, what I utilized in order to create this is if you go out here and you look up video to GIF, okay, creator, all right. And again, I don't know if I'd go ahead and add these straight in maybe if you have secondary accounts or something where there's high competition you're trying to get some business or maybe it's high volume and you're what you're like hey i want to get some attention over here i have great services this is de definitely an attention grabber now i've only gone into this account just to go ahead and showcase it but with that being said again i want to go ahead and share this with you so when you come inside of here you have video to gif creator all right. Now, once you go inside of your video to GIF creator, note this, it's 400 by 300 is the size that you're going to need. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this for you briefly, but then I'll just share with you the file format. So say you want to go in here to this particular website here. I'm not affiliated. It's just what I utilized for this particular uh, demonstration. All right, this is for educational purposes only. I'm not suggesting this other than just as a fun little tip. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and walk through this. So you will go ahead and choose the file. So in this instance, I went inside of here. I did grab a file. So let's just go inside of here. All right, so here's a 13 second video, a 10 second video, and a six second video. So I'll go ahead and grab this 10 second video. You will add it inside of here and then click the upload button. Now, once this is done, you will have to go ahead and give it a few seconds in order for it to process. Now, once this video has gone ahead and processed, it will spit out a GIF file, but you're not quite done yet. Now, the next step that you will want to do is you will want to convert this into a GIF, a GIF file. I know it sounds or looks like GIF, but it's actually pronounced GIF. Who would have thought? Now, let's go ahead and go to the very next step. Now, note that the size, again, is 400 by 300. So what you will want to do is go inside of here and go to resize. Once inside of resize, you will want to go to 400 by 300. Now, this particular process will take some time, but... Lucky for you, I already have some files done. Once this is downloaded, we'll see if this goes ahead and downloads relatively quickly because it is a smaller file. Once this video is done and downloaded, all right, we will go inside of here. We will convert this to a, you have multiple options here. Now, what I was going in and downloading it to is going to be a resize this image, okay. Now, we will want to go in here and go click on save. Now, this will make your GIF file. Now, when you come in over to your section and you go inside of your posts, I'll go ahead and share this with you briefly. We'll come inside of here 
and you'll say you'll go inside of your posts. You'll try to go into your say offers or what's new or all. And what you're going to run into is like, say if you try to put it inside of here and you're like, okay, I want to create a new post that's going to be what's new. And I try to grab it. This is what's going to happen to you. So you'll come inside of here. You'll go inside your downloads inside of the one that has just downloaded. It's not even inside the recommended files. You will click on it and you'll go to click open. And what will happen is selected file is not supported for upload. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll come directly over to here and see where it says GIF. What you want to do is take out the uh, easy GIF and whatever you want to make it is going to be this. So we'll just say uh, SEO demo. And what we need to do is we actually need to change the file extension. Okay. So what you'll need to do is you will want to come over here and type in JPG. So you will want to make this animated file a JPEG. Now, once this animated file is a JPEG, the very next step is we still cannot get this inside of here, right? So we'll have our JPEG. You can try to upload it and it will go through uh, once you go ahead and convert that small little bit. But the problem is this. So say I do this and I want to go inside of here and I go to say bye and then I put in my link, right? I'll go ahead and walk through the process with you. This is what tends to happen. So you'll go to publish and it's going to throw me an error. So internal error. So the workaround, not only that first workaround where you're turning it into a JPEG, but I'll go over here and I'll show you the very next step. So the very next step that you will want to go ahead and do is this. So you'll want to come over to your products. Okay. If you don't have products, then that's perfectly fine. You will want to go ahead and add your product. Now this is a different uploader. So as you can see here, we can select our file. We'll ch we changed it to JPEG. Once we changed our GIF into a JPEG, now we'll be able to upload this without any scrutiny and we will be able to get it into our albums. So we're able to upload it into here. Now, once we upload it into here again, remember, the objective is to A, you want to get it in for your cover. B, you want to, might want to get it in for a logo. You can also use these for your videos. You can put them in for your products, but this is for educational purposes only. This is just a fun little hack. I'm going in there right now to change them out. I just wanted to share this with you. I thought it would be fun to go ahead and share. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions, related to this local search engine optimization, local SEO tip or hack, or any Google My Business SEO tip, secret tips, if you need anything, feel free to go ahead and ask me in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business local SEO video. By the way, www.seomastermind.org. I hope to see you there. We have a free group. If you need anything, ask below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. And gals, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.